In this video, I wanted to talk about Kittle's new image vectorizer tool. I think it really helps give your design a vintage look. You can create designs that look like this right here. I'm going to show you exactly how to use it and what kinds of things I would use to pair with it. Let's go. Hey everyone, it's Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, I wanted to talk about Kittle's image vectorizer tool. Now you can take any photo, any image, and put it through the vectorizer tool and it will change it into a vector. And it kind of gives it a nice uh, detailed look, uh, more detailed than some of the silhouette stuff that you might find in there. So it's just another way to get a vintage graphic onto your t-shirt. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it. It's super simple and I'm gonna pair it with the background remover as well and then show you how to use it inside of a design. I'm gonna show you different ways and different photos that I'm gonna use so you can see the full power of this vectorizer tool. So let's get into Kittle now and I'll show you exactly how to use it. So here I am on Kittle, kittle.com, you can see right there. One thing you may have noticed is that I have several of them that are bookmarked. You can see this one's bookmarked and so on. I'm gonna show you how to bookmark something first. This is gonna come into play later. So if I like this one, I can go in here, click on it, and then click on these dots here and head bookmark, okay? So now that's bookmarked. Now I went through and bookmarked a bunch of vintage ones that I like. So if we scroll down, maybe we'll see another bookmark. Let's see, like I bookmarked this one right here. I also just bookmarked this one right here. So where do you find your bookmarks? Well, if you go here, and you go to your profile, you'll see bookmarked right here. Look at all these. So I, I made a collection of vintage designs. So I'm gonna use these as my design elements for when I do the image vectorizer tool. So I'm gonna take the image vectorizer tool, vectorize something, and then just drop it into here. It'll make it super easy, uh, one of these. And then I already have a design, but with a new graphic, okay? So let me show you how to do the image vectorizer tool. So I'm gonna start a new project. Uh, I'm going to do it 4,500 by 5,400. So width 4,500, height 5,400, and then do that there and then create. Okay, so let me show you the image vectorizer tool. The best way to use it is to do it with a photo. So I'm going to go to photos here. Kittle has a ton of photos. You can see if I scroll down, I can also search for photos. So I'm going to search here for hockey. We saw that hockey one that I just showed. All right, this one right here, check that out. Okay, I'm gonna make it bigger so you can see. And one nice thing is you can change the brightness and contrast and saturation on this. So you can kind of get an idea what it's gonna look like in a vector format anyway. So uh, let me show you, I can turn up the brightness so that's gone. I can turn up the contrast so things get darker. I can take down the saturation so things look gray like that so you can kind of get an idea what it might look like when I vectorize it so let me up the contrast a little bit down the brightness right there so I can also remove the background so let me reset that and let me just remove the background and let's see what happens see Kittle's smart enough to know how to take all of that out anyway so I'm going to do the same thing background contrast saturation brightness, I'm gonna bring it down. Okay, so watch what happens when I do the vectorizer tool. So now this whole thing is a vector. I can scale it up. I can also color it. So if I wanted this to be like a red or maybe a blue or whatever it is, right, I can do that. So next thing is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it on a t-shirt design, one of those that I bookmarked. And I'm not gonna show you exactly how to do it, but you're gonna see that I have that background, change the words a little bit, and then put this in, and then it's gonna look like a vintage t-shirt design. Okay, so now that I have that hockey one, I'm gonna take that design that I showed you that I bookmark right here, and I'm gonna add that image that I did with the hockey player, and look what I did. I changed the colors, I kept the same words just so you can see it's the same thing. And then look at this, it has that really cool vintage look, right? like it's uh, like the kind of art that they used to use in the 70s. It's really cool. You can see it's the same one right here uh, and it's a vector and I can change the color if I want it to be a different color, but it probably looks better as a dark color like that or like that, right? 
and really cool. So it didn't take me that long. I, and it uses a different photo than this one. So it looks very different, it has a different feel too, right? This is more of a clip art feel. This has more of that vintage picture look, right? With all the details and stuff. So really cool. I'm gonna show you how to do even more. So this is just one example. I'm gonna show you other examples too. Okay, I'm back here on Kiddo. This vectorizer tool is also great for scenery, like palm trees. So let's do that. I'm gonna go back here to photos. I'm gonna just do palm trees. Check out all the palm trees ones that you can do. Pretty cool, right? I'm gonna do this one right here. And you can see it just like that. And then I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna turn up the brightness and the contrast, the saturation it down so it's gonna look similar to that right there let's do the vectorizer tool and there you go vector check that out so I can change these colors again right I can make it red blue I can do something really cool too I can do this what if I did double exposure kind of thing and I did one red and one blue. Right? I can I can play around with that kind of stuff. All right, so I'm going to um, use another one of those vintage patterns that I bookmarked, those vintage designs. So I'm going to show you how to use the palm trees to make another vintage t-shirt design. All right, so here is another vintage design that I bookmarked and I'm going to take all these elements and add it to the palm trees that I just did and look look at that totally looking different design I could change the text if I wanted to but you can see it's the same thing but just a different design and this has a really cool vintage look I put the textures on here and it, the textures work on this vector as well so this is the same one I just used the circle here to make it look like a sun to kind of fill that space Look at that, I think that turned out really good. So another thing that I like to do is cityscapes. So I'm gonna do photo here. I've already typed in cityscape and I like this one right here. So let's do that. And I'm gonna do the background remover again. See, it's gonna take a little while, but I like it because it's gonna take away the sky here and I don't have to do the brightness and stuff. But I could turn on the brightness, but look at that, really cool. And then I'm just gonna do image vectorizer so you can see I'm not gonna play around with the brightness and contrast. You'll, you'll see that turned out great, right? Now you can use this uh, in conjunction with mass too. So if you don't want it to look just straight like this, one thing you can do here is go to elements and figure out some mass that you like. So let's say I want maybe an edge here or come it in like this um, or maybe a uh, you know, maybe a, a border on here. So let's try this. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I hope it turns out great. I'm gonna take this in here, move that, and kind of double click on it and see if it fits. Oh, it's too tall. Yeah. So let's do something else. Um, I'm gonna need one that's bigger. Oh, this might work. Let's give it a round bottom here okay and then this goes in here boom and then double click on it and kind of shrink it down here and there you can see i can give i can give my edge a curve like this see that kind of cool make it bigger yeah, that's kind of neat. And then you can always remove the background here. Instead of gray, I can do nothing. And that's kind of neat. All right, so I'm gonna take this design and add some text around here. Now, what's nice about this is I can have curved text under here and that would be really cool too. So I'm gonna play with this, get one of those designs that I did again or that I bookmarked again and put it in here and I'll show you the result. So I took this design that I bookmarked here. You can see it's very nice, it has that rounded bottom that I wanted and the top and got some really cool vintage fonts, right? So I took out the design and I put in my New York here and I changed some of the words, of course, authentic New York and all of this is done in Kittle. So I have a totally new design now. 
using very quickly using uh, that vectorize image and then that image here all this stuff here and I just changed the words and within minutes I created a new design that I think looks pretty cool and very vintage okay let's do one more and I'm gonna try and mix two uh, things together so let's do this let's go to uh, photos uh, we're gonna do barbecue since it's kind of barbecue season let's see what we get here um, let's go down I want a barbecue grill well, I like this fire I'm gonna save that and maybe that no this one right here okay we're gonna take two of these vectorize them and put them together so uh, first again I'm gonna just do the background remover because I think that's that works really well on this picture so hopefully it just takes out I just get the grill here and not the smoke perfect and then I'm gonna vectorize that cool and then I'm gonna do this one right here I hope this works I'm gonna can I background remove let's try a background remove that so I'm gonna put the fire on the grill in a different color let's see if that works that could work I'm gonna vectorize that okay so it's all vectorized let's see what it looks like here I'm gonna change the color to red that's kind of neat and then I'm gonna play around with this um, maybe I'll make a I'm making a copy holding down the option and right click I'm gonna flip oh not flip that way undo flip horizontal there that one and make it smaller and maybe kind of play around with color here so I'm gonna do maybe like a orange color yeah that's kind of cool All right and then I'll put these in the back yeah check that out all right I don't want this Weber or this so we're gonna use mass to cut it out again uh, I'm gonna go to my elements and go to masks my circle one I'm just gonna make it as big as I need to there and take this guy and put it in here so drag it in the mass double click and then we can move this down to what we need here and size it there I think that works and then of course um, get rid of this background good there I think that would do so now I'm gonna grab one of the other designs that I saved a bookmark and put some text down here some text over here and let's see what it looks like all right so I use this design now you can see there's a bird in here I'm gonna replace it with uh, the grill that I did the vectorize tool with or you can see here the image vectorizer there's that grill I changed the color have some colors here and use change the words barbecue season steaks burgers and hot dogs I think can make a really cool vintage design just by using these elements here and putting it and changing the words and using the image vectorizer tool so super powerful and I think it looked great for all the little vintage kind of things and you can add on textures on top of it it just has that uh, 70s vintage look where you do the silk screen and things like that so all right so here's the difference between a vectorized version and a silhouette you can see just a little more detailed they may not have the face but this one doesn't have the face either but you get some of these lines and kind of just Real, looks really cool and if you add texture on top of that or uh, other things I think it just has that just that that little extra um, art style right so play around with this uh, this one you can color too right but this this one you can color as well so I think it has some really powerful um, things behind here with this vectorizer tool um, have fun with this hopefully you can play along with this I, I think this plus you got you got the background remover the vectorizer tool plus the templates I think it's a great combo and you can see I made a few really good designs in a very short amount of time so there you go that's how you use the image vectorizer tool on Kittle I think Kittle keeps getting better and better I think uh, with all those tools combined you got the background remover 
with the image vectorizer tool, put those in mask and use them with the templates already in Kittle. You can see I made a bunch of designs really quickly and I think they look really good and has that vintage look and feel which makes it stand out from other designs. Uh, if you wanna see other things that I've done with Kittle, I'll put this video right here. This is my latest Kittle video as well. Um, you can learn how to use mockups in Kittle uh, as well as some other, other things. I have a whole Kittle playlist, so if you wanna watch that, that'd be great. Thanks again for watching, and as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.